what you want to do <laughs> if you haven't watched any of our other videos. <laughs> all 75 of them when you age. <laughs> <laughs> That's looking really, really awesome. I like how the... Gina yesterday suggested that I uh, use the torch and burn the grain and I was like, yeah, it's a waste of time. You're not even going to see it once you put your paint on there, but you can. It's actually kind of popping. And I was bummed because we didn't have marshmallows and chocolate and graham crackers because I really wanted this more than... <laughs> <laughs> this is really cool though. Once she's done aging, we're going to then use some Thompson's water seal and uh, try to seal this thing as best we can. Um, and then I may or may not silicone the cracks. I don't really know if it's really necessary on this water wheel. Alright, here is the start of the uh, sluice box or the trough, the water trough that's going to go above the water wheel connecting the uh, connected to the tower and then it will spill off the edge onto the top of the water wheel um, I basically rip down these are like one foot wide I've got the same diameter curve cut as our water tower top piece Gene is still over there painting um, and uh, now I'm gonna cut the ribs and put on the outside of this Sometimes you guys ask if we ever work off drawings. Well, here's the extent of, uh, <laughs> of our drawings. <laughs> we just basically like get an idea online, scribble something, and it's mostly just to get an idea of how much wood to buy. But uh, yeah, there's our drawings. I, I got a fancy paperweight. <laughs> yeah, I should have done a drawing on how to paint. Oh, just kidding. Just kidding. She don't need no drawings. Dang! I just got that. It took me like 30 seconds, but I was like, what the heck like, was that? I'm like, she's letting me off easy. <laughs> yeah, it's because it didn't sink in right away. <laughs> it's, it's all the paint fumes it's have, the paint have fumes. gotten to you. <laughs> no, it's looking really, really awesome. I think that this is going to like stick out, though. The rest of it's going to gonna look as good. They're going to be like, man, that water wheel is so awesome looking. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it flew over my head. <laughs> this must not be like here today. <laughs> it's because we're working at home now. <laughs> I, I must be in Sunday mode. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's that's true too. <laughs> but it is funny because we'll like work for an hour and then go get online for an hour, maybe two hours. Are you hungry? That's all we keep saying. You hungry? Let's go eat some to eat. <laughs> Come on, big bucks. Big no bucks. Whammies, no whammies. <laughs> That's really not the right one. The price is right. The price is wrong. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> you are getting hypnotized. You are getting very, very sleepy. All right. This Enough is, of that. This has been a long clip, longer clip than I thought it would be going to be. And really air off. Earful. Earful. Earful too. Really awful. <laughs> not only can that you not, not get jokes, you can't talk either. <laughs> I think I was trying to combine awful and terrible in the same way. We're going to start our own haunter right. language right. where we combine words to make the vlogs even shorter. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, let's just stop while we're ahead. <laughs> okay, on this one over here, uh, this is the sluice that the kids are going to actually be gold panning in or out of. And we have to make eight of these, a total of 64 feet total. And we're going to make a basically a, a gigantic horseshoe uh, shape. And the plan for this was I've got three-quarter ply. I've got an eight-inch um, sidewall with some two-by-four bracing. It's going to have a two-by-six cap on it. And then I'm going to do a double layer of plywood, and I'm going to offset it. So basically, I'm going to overlap all my seams. So um, there, it'll be pretty leak-proof. And again, just like the other one, I'm going to seal it, silicone it, and uh, uh, build some some stands for it, like some 4x4 four four and 2x6 stands. But I just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of, of what we what we plan on doing and uh, how much work we have left. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of painting. A lot of painting. No! Awesome. All right, I wanted to show you how far I got today on this thing. Um, let me remove the lid here. But basically, 
come on around here back here, Gina. Um, in the back, on the lid and on the bottom, I have uh, cut the diameter of the water tower. I got these two little brackets that I can use to uh, lag or screw this in to the tower as far as down on the tower platform. Um, over here, basically this whole thing, since we went ahead and did the cheap material way and we went with plywood, um, uh, we're going to have to like totally seal this thing, paint it, water thompson, silicone, do everything we can to make this thing last as long as we can. But basically we're going to have inch and a quarter pipe come up from the tank that's going to sit below the, the water wheel. And it's going to come up and it's going to 90 degree elbow right into the side of here. And I'm going to hide it, conceal it inside of a homemade 4x4 post. Um, and uh, it's going to fill this little area right in here. Okay? It's going to splash and go. And then it's going to fill. Can you see down in here? This is the good stuff. Um, it's going to fill up this space right here. And then it's going to pour over. Now. If you notice, there's a slot in the front here. And I wanted to have some way of controlling the flow. So I've got this really high zoot trap door. <laughs> it's gonna go <laughs> So it should be able to adjust the flow and it'll just spill off here perfectly, landing right onto the water wheel, spinning it, causing the uh, chain reaction of movement. And we can conduct our own power if we want. All right, let's see if I can do this. So, all right, do there. Yeah, the only thing I, I I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this. I think that Gina needs to work her magic and make it look good, and then I'll feel better. But it looks real plywoody right now. <laughs> well. But I, we could put. I uh, tell some you fence, what. You know how we like our fence boards. We could put some slats right there, but. Look at. You know. This looks really new. And now it looks and really look old. It. Well, it's very nice. I mean, besides being banged up, and yeah, I might could, have to throw a couple chains and hammers yeah. on that. Yeah, sometimes we'll take chain or, or the back of a hammer, dent it up a little bit. Uh, pounding a, um, if you hit the the like a nail head or something, into it kind of chews it up. But I I hate to mess this up. I want to just kind of move on. Yeah. So, but that's where we're at. Looks good. Yeah, start painting tomorrow. <laughs>